What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Hectic Reacts, bringing you guys another gameplay. Right here, I was playing the sub. Um, he had the Saints, and I grabbed the Texans, so you know this is going to be a good game. And so how y'all been? You know, I'm over here going through school, you know, trying to work hard and trying to become a better commentator. So I kind of have, like, three jobs. Go to school, play football, come home and commentate and repeat every single day. So, I'm trying to become a better commentator. And, you know, I kind of looked at some of my videos and I looked at my habits. You know, I first started off saying and, and now I say you know a lot. And one of my subs pointed that out to me. And I I think it's a really, it's a real problem I have, you know. A good commentator really doesn't say one thing a lot. Like, not like a catchphrase. Catchphrases are different. But in my opinion, a good commentator has great speaking skills. And so, I'm trying to become better. So, I'm really conscious of what i'm saying i'm trying not to say you know because i looked at before i did this video i was i look i okay i do videos i commentate over them and then i look over them and listen to them see if they're good and the video before this this all you heard from me no lie i'd be like this you know guys playing the texans you know so i'm coming out kicking the ball off you know arian fosh is a beast you know this that you know uh i got my man matt shop throwing dots you know and the whole game i was just saying you know and I never really thought about it until I listened to my commentary. So I'm trying to become a better commentator, trying to like kill some bad habits and just become exciting, guys. Like when you click on my video, I want you to be excited. Like get excited, get loud, make some noise. You know, it's okay to watch my video and get naked and rub butter all across your stomach and eat popcorn. Yeah, that's not okay. Don't listen to me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, guys, have fun, you know. Um, dang, there I go with you know again, but you know, we're going to get it. So, playing the Saints was hard, and I tried my best to contain Darren Sproles, but right here, story of my life, missing the hit stick. Guys, don't fall in love with the hit stick like me, you know. Oh, like, dang, there goes my you-know again. <laughs> um, so, don't fall in love with the hit stick like me. And last year, everybody was in love with the strip button, so, you know, um, crap, you-know again. You know, I'm going to just do this commentary, and every time I say you know, I'm going to just stop talking. So, doing this commentary, guys, and throwing it across the field of my man, Owen Daniels. So, I got to go ham. I got to get with it. I'm down by seven, and right here, I just bust loose with my man, Arian Foster. So, what was I talking about before I got caught saying you know? Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, guys, just listen to the beat while I think about what I was talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I was talking about not falling in love with the hit stick like I did. Don't fall in love with the hit stick. Because last year in Madden, everything was about the strip button. You can get a strip animation almost every single play. And it wasn't even fun playing the game. Because you were going to fumble at least twice. You know, so, dang, there it goes again. You know, I'm going to practice that. Um, So, you were going to fumble at least twice. So, this year I fell in love with the hit stick. Because it's so easy to get. And right here, story on my life, guys. Just look at this playing the game against the sub i'm like what happened to my connection um i'm gonna disconnect from this game and i walk into the room with the router and my sister turned the router off like an idiot and i'm sitting here like why would you do that why are you doing this to me like she just loves to like burst my bubble i, I can never be happy around her it's illegal to be happy around my sister don't get happy around her she will burst your bubble I'm sitting here playing man with a sub like this game's good. This is going on the two guys. Then out of nowhere my connection goes out. Not because I got bad connection, because she's sitting there playing with the router, turn it off and on like an idiot. So I'm I'm freaking mad as hell. But I had to get another game in. This time it was with a different sub. Um he invited me and he was on the mic and had a good conversation with him. And I don't know if he had pots in his room or something, but the whole game all I heard was pots banging and stuff. Like, I don't know, was he cooking? Like, was my was my sub a chef? <laughs> so, I was like, what is he doing in there? And right here, I just threw a freaking rope to my man, Julio. And 
you know, Matt Ryan's really good. The Falcons are a really underused team, but I'm going to start using them because nobody's showing them love. You, know, you want to show them love, I'm going to show them love. You know, uh, got a two-headed attack at receiver with Julio Jones and Roddy White. Then you got Tony Gonzalez, a.k.a. that man, Tony Montana. But uh, then you got um, Michael Turner, which is, he doesn't care about life. And right here, he just throws a pick on his first play from scrimmage. And all I heard was a gigantic pot hit the wall. And I didn't even want to ask. I didn't want even, even want to ask if he was okay. I was just like, hello? And he just stopped talking for like a good minute. Then he's like, yeah. Like he was crying or something. But I was like, dude, what happened? He's like, I had to use the bathroom. That's obviously a lie because he was playing the game with me. <laughs> I'm like, you don't got to lie if he was raging. And right here, he throws a pick to my man, Akeem Dent. I don't even know if that's Akeem Dent. Don't really care. Then I heard one gigantic pot, and then the headset flew to the ground. I heard it was like, <laughs> that's what it sounded like. And I was like, uh, hello? Hello? Fuse? Because that's his PSN. His PSN was like, fuse something. I was like, fuse? And I was like, are you okay? It's like, what's wrong, fuse? And he sent me a friendly quit, and I accidentally declined it. Um, he hit me up in a ranked match because we matched up in the lobby and he sent me a message And I kind of wanted my points, but like it's just habit like I train myself to when I get a friendly quit I decline it but going back. I would have accepted it because he's a sub and he's watching my videos But you know, I'm sorry about that I'm trying to become a better commentator Hector Gax. I'm out. I love y'all peace and here comes the rage quit kisses